Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about a book that demonstrates that not only should you never judge a book by its cover, but you also should not judge a man by his age. I'm talking Thomas Perry's book, The Old Man. Now this is a book about a guy who's a little over 10 years older than I am. And he's now a widower. He's been a widower for a couple of years. It's just him and his two dogs. And one day he takes his two dogs out for a walk. And he notices someone in a car being kind of funny. And he goes on high alert. Because as it turns out, this old guy used to be in military intelligence. And when he was in military intelligence, he did something. He, he did what he felt was the right thing to do, but other people thought wasn't quite the right thing to do. And since then, he's been living off the grid, undercover, fearing the day that they would discover him. Turns out there's a reason he went on high alert, because this dude is an assassin there to kill him. He ends up killing the assassin, taking his two dogs, and going on the run. The assassins keep coming after him. He keeps killing the assassins. As he's on the run, he meets another lady. They start up a relationship. And here's one of the areas where the book gets really interesting for me because he seems to really care about the woman. But at times, the, the author will give you his thoughts and his thoughts aren't about caring for the woman. His thoughts are about keeping this woman happy because she's good for his cover. And he doesn't want to get his cover blown again. He's now in hiding, doesn't want his cover blown again. Meanwhile, the gal seems to be falling head over heels with him. It's kind of a convoluted relationship. There are times when he does things to where you're like, wow, he honestly cares about her. He really truly does. And then there's times when you're like, nope, this is just cold-blooded acting on his part, you, you, you don't really know. And there's honestly times when you're like, I don't know why I like this guy as much as I like this guy. I don't know why I'm rooting for him as much as I'm rooting for him. Because right now, that part of him, I don't like that part of him. And it's, it's not anything mean or violent that he does. It's that cold-blooded calculating side of him. I mean, he doesn't kill anyone that doesn't need killing. He, he only kills people who are trying to kill him, and he tries to avoid killing people. And he's in some situations where, quite honestly, if that was me and my wife in that situation, there might be two bodies buried in a ditch somewhere, but he doesn't do that. So, you know, he, he, he is a good guy. One of, the, one of the things that, when you're listening to a book like this, often happens. You're listening to a book where it's a heroine instead of a hero, and it's some, you know, 110-pound woman, and she gets into a fight, and she takes out five 200-pound Special Forces dudes. And, and you end up having to take any sense of reality and just put it in the background, because in reality, no matter how skilled she is, a 120-pound woman, a 120-pound man, taking on five highly trained 200 pound operatives would lose unless he was armed, she was armed, and they weren't. So often in a book like this where you've got a guy who's in his mid 60s taking on dudes in that are, you know, 20s in their 20s and are fit and highly trained, it, it can get a little iffy and you can kind of have to go, I'm going to take reality and I'm going to put reality on the back burner and I'm just going to enjoy the story. None of that happens with this book. When he takes these people on, he doesn't outfight them physically. I mean, there's one where the only reason he wins is because his dogs are there. Otherwise, he freely admits, you get to hear his thoughts, and he freely admits in his thoughts, if my dogs weren't there, I'd be dead right now because there's no way I could have taken that guy. In my prime, maybe. Now, there's just no way too old, I'm too slow, I'm not strong enough. The other times when he defeats them, it's because he outthinks them. And it is completely reasonable to expect someone who has been on the run for 40 years, who has been living under the radar for 40 years, who has been training their mind and body for 40 years, to be able to outsmart someone who's only had two years of training. 
that is believable. So the book never reaches that unbelievable point where you just got to put reality in the background. In the end, the book ends, ends up leaving you with this really good feeling, but also uh, leaving you a little bit disappointed. But disappointed in a good way. The disappointment comes through the romance with a woman, and I'm not going to say any more than that. You want to know more than that? Listen to the book. But it's it's not a kind of disappointment that, oh, I hated that book. Oh, no, then that book again. Huh. No. Ah, no. It's, it's one of those you enjoy the disappointment kind of things, and it doesn't surprise you. It's not a disappointment that surprises you. You kind of expect it to come along, but you're, you know, you're holding out that bit of hope that you'll be wrong, and then, oh, you were wrong. But it also leaves you feeling really good. It doesn't. There, there's no darkness to it, no um, no depressing elements to the book. I would not listen to the book myself. Uh, I would not have listened to it around my children because of um, some of the relationships between him and his girlfriend. And, and not that it's bad or anything. I mean, now that my kids are a little older and understand that stuff, they're, they're teenagers and adults. No problem. I'm talking when they were little kids. But also there's, there's a situation that him and the woman get into that when the kids were little might honestly have bothered them. So I, I, other than that, though, once they're preteen, teen, it's a fine book, in my opinion, to listen to around them. If you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, put it in the comments. Send it in my direction. I will do my best to respond. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. You get notifications when I post a new video. But most importantly, absolute most importantly, make sure that today you listen to at least one really 